now after drawing this figure next when you look at the actual given drawing you will be noticing that over here near these circles you do not have the entire circle instead these are made up of arcs so you need to trim the remaining portions in this way so in order to do that over here I can select this arc and this arc as the two extremities between which I'll be erasing this portion from here to here select the trim option now and click on this arc in this way you have removed that portion left click to accept it again I'll select this arc and this arc by holding down the control button then click on the trim elements option click on this trim object left click in order to accept it now over here in this particular thing we can trim it over here and over here individually or else we can even do it at a time that is I'll select this arc one this arc second and this arc all the three arcs together and then click on trim elements option so now I have three extremities I'll select trim elements then click on this arc and click on this arc together we can erase it off left click to accept right click to come out in this way we have created this entire drawing I can delete off the necessary lines over here and this line as well that is how this particular drawing looks now after this we need to dimension it right now I'll just close this modify and manipulate toolbars if I select the dimensioning and go with a normal dimension option for circles or anything I'm getting it too big too huge so I need to change the text height select the shortcut to settings and over here go with the text option height and width I'm locking it and setting it to a value of 1 now you can see this is a text if it is too small you'll have to increase it the only method is trial and error you need to increase and decrease it and check if it is suitable according to the drawing okay let us finally keep it to 3 okay over here lock it keep it to 3 that is your 55 mm dial in order to reduce the precision I can select the setting again and over here in units accuracy I'm going to reduce this to 0.12 only two digits after the decimal now over here the dial is 55 right, I'll select it over here and place it select this again so select this option dimension and select the other circle which is at 90 dial these arcs can also be chosen instead of dial I'll select radius option and select this this is 14 select this this is 17 mm in this way you can dimension this in order to dimension between these two objects I'll select this extension line over here and this is placed over here that is how you will be dimensioning this all right now apart from this that completes our figure we can dimension it in this format you can even give the angular dimensions over here now over here if suppose you are to use arcs instead of circles uh, right now we use circles and trimmed it off we can even go with the creation of arcs directly for which you have the arcs option over here the arcs are present in a separate toolbar Let's close the dimensioning toolbar and now in the arcs option the first option is place arc select this after selecting this you can either enter the values over here or directly identify the first arc end point this is the first end point of the arc I'm choosing it to be over here and then comes the arc center the center of the arc somewhere around here and then comes the sweep angle sweep angle determines the end point of the arc I can go in this direction or if I move it in the anti-clockwise direction I'll be getting the arc in this space wherever you want you can place the arc in whichever direction you choose 
in this way you will be creating an arc select it and your arc has been placed so whenever you're creating the arcs over here first select one end point of the arc then a center and then the other end point in this way that is the center option then next you have the edge option select this select this and then give the third point over here you're not going to specify the center point but instead you're going to specify three points on the circumference of the arc that is the first point the second point that is the point through which the arc will passing and finally the end point of the arc in this way that is your edge option this is the first point this is the point through which it is passing and then the end point of the arc in this way that is how you will be creating the arc now in order to change or modify these arcs you have a number of options over here modify arc radius modify arc angle and modify arc axis select this option modify arc radius and click on the arc now using the same endpoints you can increase or decrease the radius of this particular arc i can reduce it or i can increase it in this way i right click to come out of the command in this way you will be modifying the arc radius select this and increase it like this right click to come out of it then the next option over here is modify arc angle that is nothing but now suppose you have this arc over here i can select modify arc angle click on this and then the end point of the arc can be replaced i can have it like this or i can have it till here or i can have it like this as well basically and then go with right click basically this option modify arc angle is used to specify or used to change the end point of the arc uh, of course for the start and end for the arcs are measured using the arc angle that is the reason the option is termed as modify arc angle select this option modify arc angle and with fit view and i'll select this arc over here modify arc angle and i'm going to increase the arc right click and come out of the command then next you have modify arc axis this is used in order to select this arc rotate this arc you can see the arc is being rotated right now that is your modify arc axis option select it and right click in this way you will modify the arc axis select this arc and you can rotate it in this way about that point you will be rotating that arc right click to come out then we have the half ellipse option over here select this first point second point and then the third point the difference of course between arcs and ellipses is you will be having a major axis and a minor axis over here you can see the radius of curvature is not constant throughout the circumference from the center to the circumference of the arc it won't be constant unlike your arcs if i select the arc over here first point second point and third point now when you have the center of this particular arc from this center point to the circumference of the circle so it is the arc you will be having a constant radius constant value of the length whereas when you go with the ellipse option it will not have it constant you will be having a major axis and minor axis select half ellipse option first point second point and then the third point in this way then next you have the quarter ellipse option with fit view and i'll just move it over here select this first point second point and then the third point the third point all again determines the placement of the ellipse but this time the ellipse is not half it is quarter of the previously created ellipse select this first point second point and then the third point this was a half ellipse the next one is a quarter ellipse In this way i'm going to place it over here that is about the arcs option using arcs we can carry out or we can create 
drawings such as these as well. Of course, you can use the circle and trim it off or you can go for the arcs option. I'll stop the session over here.